what is up YouTube welcome back to the channel and happy new year to you all I wanted to start this new year off right with getting a little bit of a short video out to you guys uh, to start it off happy new years to you guys I hope all of you were able to celebrate the new years with some friends or family and just have a good time with those people um, today is gonna be a pretty short video we're gonna do a bit of a cold start on the old 7-3 been a few days since she's run and it's been dropping down into the low 20s here at night um, so nothing too cold but uh, we'll give it a little bit of a try see how she does I'm sure she won't have a problem with it um, with that we're also going to be installing a temperature sensor on the old 73 um, just an ambient air temperature sensor something I just want on the truck it's nice to be able to feel like you're having the luxuries of a newer truck and these old beasts. Um, so we're going to get that going. Let's see how this cold start goes. She fired right up, no hiccups at all. Uh, I didn't even let the glow plugs warm up all that long. <laughs> like I've said before in previous videos, if these trucks are maintained, they really don't have that much issue starting up in colder weather. And yes, I know it's not all that cold here, but in general, if you maintain these trucks, they'll treat you well. So now we got that going, we're gonna get started on the short little install of the temperature sensor, and we'll call it a day. All right, so here we are in the engine bay of the truck. Um, new fuel systems right in there. If you haven't seen that video, or the last three videos, I guess, I would highly recommend tuning in and checking those out. There's a pretty cool fuel system install that is doing absolutely fantastic. I'm super happy with it. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video will be installing the new air temperature sensor for the CTS Insight. Now, this is all I have to do um, because I already have uh, the main wiring harness in place for the edge CTS I just pretty much have to plug this in and figure out where I want to put it and I'll be up and running um, so currently right now I have all of my or I have the edge CTS harness underneath my air filter just to kind of keep it clean out of the way so you're not seeing it and what that looks like is all right so here you can see underneath the air filter assembly i have all the wiring for my edge cts or the accessories that i've been adding on to it um, that yellow black and red wire is my fuel pressure sensor that goes over to the center of the engine that you just saw um, it's a pretty cool setup that edge has built where instead of running factory gauges or like uh, gauges you would have um, on standalone stuff they have developed a system where it all splices into itself where it's all contained into one thing um, and you can just keep adding these on and instead of running all the different wires into your cab you just have this one single black wire that runs into your cab um, I like it helps makes things a little bit cleaner keeps the wires under the dash more manageable um, because I think we have all seen that rat nest of wires that some people have that me personally I think it's just hideous and not to mention it'd be a pain in the butt to try to figure things out on so with the attachment I have on right now it's just a little splitter that goes to two sensor inputs one obviously is the fuel pressure and then we have an empty one right here which I am going to plug into for the air sensor and then all I have to do is plug it in route it somewhere probably away from the engine so I'm not picking up the radiant heat as much from the engine and we are good to go so i'm going to do that real quick and show you how i'm going to route it all right so here we go we got it all tied up got the plug-in right there and you follow it up to the firewall or to the fender bring it along the wires 
up here and then I dropped it down right behind the hot the headlights see it coming out of the hole there and then down here under the truck not sure how well you'll be able to see it but so down here we got it run down right behind the bumper should give a pretty good reading and then I got it tied up with some other wires and yes I do need to clip those zip ties but got it all tied up we'll go into the cab and see what it looks like on the monitor all right, so here we are in the cab. There's my CTS. We'll just turn it on real quick. Wait for it to start up. So here are all my gauges that I'm monitoring. Got my fuel pressure right there, 54 point something. Um, that's my fuel pressure, the sensor I just put in and what you guys saw. So now I think I'm probably going to take in place of my air intake temperature, which is the sensor that's on the spider. I'll go in, select a new PID, and go down. So I put it into the universal input A sensor plug and we're going to configure it, select what type it is, and we got ambient air temperature right there, and we got to wait for it to load and I think restart. Oh, tell it what my truck is. Yes, it's a Ford. Keys in the on position. It's going to ask me what my my vehicle's VIN number is. I'm going to point you guys away from that for now. Select yes. That's what it is. And it's going to start up. And voila, it's up and running. It is currently 45.7 degrees outside right now. So, like I said, not too hard or not too cold. But now I feel like I have a, another luxury of a nice fancy truck in this old girl. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. Nice short one for you guys. I just wanted to get something out for you guys to start the new year off on a good foot. Um, for all you guys that have subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. I know it hasn't been going for very long, um, so we're still just under 50 subscribers, but in two months time, I think that's pretty awesome. Um, I'm super glad that you guys are interested enough in the content uh, to want to actually follow along. Uh, I'm really excited for 2019. Uh, this truck should be getting a lot of awesome stuff, and I'm excited to keep building it. And who knows, maybe down the road, we might be picking up a little bit of a different truck uh, to maybe build into a little bit of a race vehicle. We'll see. Um, not sure on any of that right now, but that is a goal of mine. I would love to be able to buy a second truck this year and build it solely for um, some playtime. But that'll do it for now. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you're interested in this stuff, please subscribe. We have a lot of cool stuff going to be coming to the channel this year. All you guys, have a great, rest, or great start to the year. And I'll catch you on the next video.